Okay guys, today we're gonna to talk about one component of the gymnastics acronym, which is SLIPS. Scales, L-sits, inversion, plank, and stretching. Um, I think when it was initially posted, people thought this stuff was rather innocuous. Um, we actually did the CrossFit.com workout today, which was just 20 minutes of SLIPS, followed by clean and jerk. Uh, so if you divide it up, it's four minutes at each sort of um, element. And uh, when and if you've done this, you'll find that four minutes is, uh, is hardly enough time to even really get into it. So we're gonna break it down today and just start at the top maybe. We're gonna talk about these scales. Um, one of the things that I'm really loving coaching these new things that we haven't done is observing where it is that uh, our members or athletes will find efficiency because they wanna win. Um, but winning and finding efficiency usually means that you've started to uh, lose some of the fundamental elements that we're maybe trying to capture from this. So front, plank, uh, front scale, back scale. So front scale, <clears throat> we're gonna choose a leg. We're gonna support ourselves on that leg. We're gonna lock this leg out so this has to be squeezed. And then we're gonna raise this other leg while also being locked out. So initially, it might only come you know, a few, a foot or so off the ground. Eventually, we're lucky to try to pull this up to 90 degrees, keeping this leg locked and this leg locked. Now, this is what I noticed you can do. I can raise my leg by bending my knee and shifting my hip forward, artificially creating the flexion here at the joint. So obviously those are some of the things that we're trying to avoid. Hip stays neutral, legs stay locked, both arms at side. I actually shorten this angle, create flexion without surrendering or leaning back in order to, to lift that leg. Um, and then there's obviously a whole bunch of ways that we can scale this movement up or down. And, and what's the applicability? Well, uh, what I find that is one of the big things that we're gaining is, is that unilateral strength with that um, kinesthetic awareness of what's going on in terms of our body positioning. How are, we, how are we trying to win or accomplish the movement, but maybe surrender some of the mechanics that we're looking to gain from it. Okay, front scale. Uh, moving into back scale. Back scale, choose a leg, same sort of things. Arms out. This one, as in the front scale, I didn't mention it, but also keeping the torso in a neutral position. We're simply going to with a straight leg, front and back, tip at the hip, but we're, we're not allowed to surrender at the spine. So I can bend over, but I'm not maintaining a neutral position if I flex the spine. So neutral position, bending forward, leg stays straight, and then back leg, of course, also continues straight. We really have to come around the front. Um, where we compensate here to make this work is we open the hip. So we turn our hip, generally speaking, to allow this movement to become easier, free ourselves up. What we're trying to gain is a unilateral strength where I'm supporting myself on this leg at a bit of a disadvantage. So keep the hips positioned neutrally and try not to open through the hip. I'm not your gymnastics expert, but these are just the things that I'm observing as we follow uh, CrossFit.com programming and introduce these front and rear scales into our workouts. Have fun with these guys. Talk to you later.